<sighs> Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the farm. Uh, looks like it snowed overnight, our first snowfall. Doesn't look like too much, probably about an inch or two of snow, but we do have to take care of this today, which is pretty exciting because we can build out a snow plowing setup. That's the game plan for today. I did not expect it to be snowing, so it's gonna be some fun. We can mess around with the snow and uh, we get some new snow plows. So let's jump in the first gen. We're gonna customize some equipment on our phone here and we should have a pickup delivery in a couple hours and then we'll bring everything back to the farm. We'll probably take care of the uh, shed over here. We got some spots we want to take care of before this freezes over because the weather is getting cold. As you guys can see, the trees, they've got almost no leaves on them and we're approaching winter. So anyhow, the roads look pretty good. They are warm though. That's the thing. It's not cold enough where the roads are going to have the snow, but uh, it's something like our cobblestone driveway. It's uh, easier to let the snow sit there. So we got to go get a plow, guys. I'll see you guys at the shop and then we'll customize ourselves a cool uh, snow plowing setup. All right, what I'm thinking is we're going to get a 7R John Deere tractor because we are going to have a three-point hitch plow so we need a tractor. We don't have a truck plow yet, so we're going to get that. And then the back, we're going to put a snowblower because it can sometimes be tough to get with everything with just the plow. So as long as we get a snowblower, we'll be able to get all the leftover stuff. But check these out. These tires actually look pretty cool. These are the Nokian tires. I wonder if we could put duels on this thing or rear duels. I don't think we can, but we are going to add weights of some sort on the back. As you can see, wheel weights. So we'll add those because we're going to need it with that snowblower on the back. It's sometimes going to be heavy, but there we go. We're going to add the three-point hitch on the front. We look good. 343 for that one. All right, looks good. Now we're going to go ahead and get into the winter equipment here. We also got uh, actually a salter. So if we wanted to do that, we could. But like I said, we're going to have the snowblower as our backup. So let's get this one. $10,000 for that. And then the plow is $7,500. right, I think we got our setup here. We can go test it out, bring it back to our farm, and uh, should be a fun day of snow plowing. Here we go. There's the 7R John Deere. Nice tractor, do have to say. It's a good midsize. We don't need anything giant like our 8RT. Or I think we actually got uh, a dual tractor. We don't need duels. I think just these ones will be great. If you guys are excited for the snow plowing video, drop a thumbs up down below. I would appreciate it so much. It helps out to continue making more videos like this. So let's go ahead. We're going to back up to the snowblower first. This thing is pretty nice. Check it out. I like the cab. We actually got heat controls, radio, digital display, and then I uh, got all your other controls here. So we actually should be able to just hook this thing up without having to ever get out, which is pretty nice. There we go. Lift it up. Okay. We got the snowblower and then we'll flip it around. We'll get the snow plow in the front. There we go. We got it. All right. This is called the Jump 320 snow plow so it's pretty nice i think uh should be able to knock out the snow that we need to get taken care of so let's head back to the farm we're gonna leave the truck here for now uh we'll find a way to get it back eventually here's a little spot we can test it out i think this is the milk distribution plant let's see uh how this thing works oh look at that the plow actually works pretty good i think we're struggling with some weight though as you can see we got to go pretty slow in order to make sure this thing doesn't bounce up just like that there we go it's working pretty good as you guys can see but it does leave over a little bit left on the side right there so we might have to come in with the snow blower once we get the bigger pile like we kind of have right now but we'll clear out their lot for them for free technically there we go pretty interesting so it left a little bit right there in the middle so it's a little trickier well, let's head back to the farm and we'll test it out there all right we made it off the ferry actually it's a pretty cool drive across uh, to see the river there because it's snowing a little bit as you can see right now still i wonder if it's gonna snow more later i'm sure it will we'll probably have a lot more places to snow plow in the town potentially maybe we can get some business through this thing because we just bought uh, about a half million dollar snow plowing setup but hey it's a business expense all righty here we go we got to the start of the farm so this is our main entrance as you guys know the shops over there across the road so we're gonna get taken care of the whole front yard and everything and how we're gonna do that is we're gonna start with the plow like i said guys this is the first thing we want to test out until we move over to the snow blower because the uh, plow might get a little bit too uh difficult but we'll do our best to start with this thing and see how it does as you can see we gotta rotate it let's see uh there we go looks good angle it to the right side and then we'll just drive up the driveway it's working pretty good i do have to say it's leaving a nice pile to the right side of us that's a good sign but i actually think you don't want to angle it all the way to the right as long as you got it just slightly enough to push it to the side that gives a little bit less pressure on the plow and helps us to create the perfect line look at this actually working pretty good and then as you can see it's struggling a little bit right there so we probably are gonna have to come in with the snow blower on the incline like right there so let's go test it out maybe speed is the problem oh nope as you can see it's bouncing up it's kind of nice though because then you got to make two passes instead of just doing one pass because usually in real life you do have to make a couple passes so that works out pretty good right there there we go look at that's actually creating a perfect pile and then we got to readjust the pile's getting a little bit too big here we go we're gonna go back one more time and then we're gonna probably switch over to the snowblower test that thing out but look at that oh we're creating a pretty big pile here there we go push it to the side okay that's enough with the snow plow let's go ahead we're gonna switch it around and we're gonna drop this thing down let's see i think we gotta click this button oh it's running okay how are we gonna get this thing to lower here there we go it's lower boys i think it's active so as long as it plows up we should be good and we got our adjustments to change it so all right let's back up let's see what this thing can do there we go oh yeah this thing works way better than the snow plow look at that 
not even leaving a single spot behind okay we're gonna be turning this into a snowblowing video right now this is actually awesome look at this thing just go and then we'll change direction as we're coming around the driveway just like that looks good look at perfect driveway okay and then we're gonna go straight through here and then look at this ready we can line it up to go super high oh my gosh this thing is throwing it over there and then uh yeah we'll eventually just take care of all this all right looks good so we're gonna lift it and then we're gonna go to the next part of this driveway here all right here we go pass number two let's see if this thing can do i don't think we need to make more than two passes on this it should be good as long as we leave some entrances cleared for our main driveway over there by the shop too so that'll be good but look at this it's actually working pretty well let's see how far this thing can go ready watch that oh my gosh it is blasting it into the sky okay that's good right there let's leave one of the entrances clear over by this door we don't really use this shop there's nothing in it right now it's just the uh, af11 so we don't need it for now so let's go ahead and angle it right there looks good clear this door all right that one looks good perfect let's lift this thing up we're gonna head it over to the shop maybe we'll be able to use the plow again but we got it cleared around both sides of this building so we'll go up to the driveway of our house next and then the shop all right drop the plow down there we go we're just going straight through here like that check this out there we go we're going up the driveway come on i think this thing's got enough power all right looking good as you can see the front of the plow's got like those dynamic things on the bottom of it as you can see they kind of like move up there we go you can see it right there that's pretty cool but i would say the plow doesn't work the best because it's got too much bounce uh as you can see the three points not really locked in place i don't know how i feel about that it doesn't really give you the best ability to clear the snow as you can see we kind of just drove over all that with the plow but it barely cleared anything so that leads me to believe it just doesn't work the best now, let's go ahead and back up we'll use the snowblower this time we can always trust in the tornado 252 there we go look at this thing clears it like no problem let's go ahead and angle it out uh, we don't want it in the rest of the driveway looks good right about there we're gonna click oh whoa we're hold on we're making it go into the house we probably don't want that we're gonna take out one of the windows this thing's got a lot of power so let's clear through right over here looks good look at that thing this is awesome look at that we're looking good here and now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate it around have it go straight back and then high up into the sky just like that over the fence looks good look at that we get everything on the side too we got one little spot let's see if we can get it there we go it's gone okay we got what one more pass and then we'll head down to the shop okay last pass on the driveway look at that we actually uh, did a pretty good job on this thing it takes a little bit longer with the snow lower i would say because you gotta go slower for it to be more precise but it definitely works a lot better than everything else all right here we go we can drop the plow down i wonder if it'll work better downhill we'll test it out here we go boys send it down the driveway yep didn't really work the best as you can see eh, it did okay here we go let's lift up the plow oh actually did better than i thought it would probably because we're coming downhill as you can see but let's go ahead and get working on the shop here we'll drop it down we'll angle it towards this way and then we'll head straight towards the shop just like that this thing's working great though we're just gonna go alongside the shop we don't have to go along the sides as you can see so just on the front side and by the fence and the office will be good just like through here by the door that we got access to the shop to work on equipment because we're obviously not doing any farming with the snow on the ground because it's pretty frozen right now so that looks good first pass oh check this out i think we might actually be able to uh, use the plow a little bit more it works better on the stone ready watch this look at that that's interesting okay we got no problems now probably just the ground but it works almost perfect on this okay that's interesting well that's good we get to test this thing out officially we got one spot that got left over but this thing works amazing on the stone probably because it's way more flat better ground terrain so it works out pretty good we can actually uh maybe do the whole parking lot now this thing moves pretty fast here we go boys drop the plow down we're going for pass number two here i'm wondering what it's gonna be like when we get all the big snow banks but look at that that is pretty satisfying if i do say so all right well that's how we can use the plow now we just gotta have good ground that works out great here we go let's get this thing straightened out and then we'll see how big of pile we can create with the snow we've got going on here's a little bit of first person action it's actually working pretty good as you can see not leaving anything behind which is great oh i think we got something right there oh no we didn't we're just making a giant pile ready watch this there we go probably do about three more passes on this area and then it should be good to go we're obviously going to get this cleaned up right here along the shed or along the doors too we need to get that so let's angle it maybe straight almost that should be the best way that way we don't uh, push it into the building or uh, to the side we've already plowed there we go that actually works pretty good just like that there we go we got some speed to it too all right lift up that's actually building a pretty good snow bank and then probably at the end we'll take the snow blower and push it all over to the lawn side which will uh, get it out of the way which is nice but look at that we're clearing the shop uh pretty good i'd say it's a good amount of time right now it's gonna take maybe 15 minutes to clear this whole place out but like i said we're just gonna do the front that way we can access the equipment in case we have to there we go look at this okay we'll go slow we'll see how precise we can get this but it works pretty good as you can see we're pushing it we're building a pretty good size snow bank it's gotta be the biggest one yet all right here we go we we'll keep going all right look at that it's a good size all right we're pushing some snow now check this out look at this snow bank uh it's almost as tall as the plow we can't go over that with the plow because it probably wouldn't really work it'd be pretty difficult we need more power for that but everything's almost ready to roll and then we'll test out the snow blower on that pile right there
right there but look at this there we go our last pass we'll say and then we'll switch it on over and uh test that thing out oh here we go we're building a pretty good one here there we go oh no we left the spot we'll have to go back for it but look at that okay i think we had a good pile to work with we got the front of the shop cleared obviously we didn't get everything but we don't need to because it's probably gonna snow even more and we might come back and uh take care of the rest of it. we want to wait for it to snow a little bit more but check this out we're gonna switch it on over like i said to the snow blower the tornado 252 all right here we go let's drop this thing down there we go it's running we're gonna go ahead and aim towards the sky we're gonna send this thing into space here we go let's clear up the front right here and then we'll switch it around all right this is gonna be a lot of snow guys ready we're gonna aim it towards the lawn over there so let's get it switched around we'll lower it here we go boys oh my gosh look at that it's just kind of moving the pile like perfectly and it's creating a giant pile oh my gosh it, like uncompacted that's how you make a ski hill i guess this is super convenient in case we're ever doing like a uh, parking lot so we got to get it all the way out of the way this works out really good let's try and push it over a little bit more maybe one more space to get it on the lawn because it's still on part of the driveway so ready check this out boys oh my gosh all right here aim up there we go look at that that thing is just throwing it to the side all right we did a pretty good job check that out that pretty much concludes our snow plowing episode for the first time here on fs25 if you guys do want to see us come back do more stuff like this remember drop a thumbs up on this episode so i know you like it and uh subscribe if you haven't already guys thank you so much for watching we'll see you in the next one